Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. How are you? There's no books in the donation box. Uh, shh! This is a library. We got a lot of books in here. Uh, so these these books are, the free books are kind of junk books. I mean, some of them are decent. Power 4, you could turn that into something. But uh, you kind of need, well, there's a Protection 4 book in there. Okay, never mind. Um, so I've kind of got them split up between kind of garbage books and high value books. You know, Mending, Infinity, Unbreaking 3, that kind of silk touch, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, no donations, but you know. Oh, 1.12, hi. Yes, uh, uh, Minecraft 1.12 is out. And we are running 1.12. Uh, Spigot released their version of 1.12 and I managed to update the server. So we're, we're doing okay. We will probably see a whole mess of, of uh, unlocked recipes and advancements and, and all that good stuff. Because uh, I haven't spent that much time playing on the server since I updated it. So, that is... Here. Uh, so that's something that uh, that's going to be popping up for a little bit. Stuff that uh, I already did. Because instead of it saying achievements here, it says advancements, right? And they've got different different panes. So I, I, I don't know if uh, I have to re-get all these advancements, I think. I know, like, I've gotten this one. I think the maybe the yellow means that it's been gotten and the silver means it hasn't, which isn't super great. Um, from uh, using color like that to differentiate... It's like, I'm wearing a pair of Elytra, so that's probably why I have this. <sighs> um, so, yeah, so we're, we're going to see those things popping up. But it, it'll be, it only happen once per, per advancement. So, let's go do something. I have a project planned here, and we have to do it in the end. Hi, horse. What are you doing here? You have a saddle. <sighs> it's too short. Why is there a horse here? Down there by the the Mushroom Island and Guardian Farm, I would expect that, but not right here. Interesting, okay. Banksplat has made the achievement I Spy. Follow an Ender Eye. Well, I have not done that, but I am in I am in the, uh, the nether fortress here. Are they not the nether fortress? The stronghold. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's all kind of weird, but let's go into the end. The end. Barb makes things. Needs another pair of Eldra, so we're probably going to fight the dragon again. Maybe later today. Uh, we'll see. I've been really busy. And so this is... Uh, I've run out of video content as well. Which uh, is going to make things interesting. So I'm, I have to... Um, this is going to be a relatively short turnaround for me between recording and posting. Uh, so we'll see. Um, and we need to do something about these end gateways. I've been building little uh, islands underneath them. For what that's worth even though the the idea is you just toss an ender pearl up there but all right so we need to go out here need a mine cart to do so ah, I need that oh new recipes unlocked is there transportation yeah look I can make all kinds of new th okay whatever I don't know that there are any recipes that are left uh, for me to get that I don't know how to make, but that's okay. 
Uh, the, the new crafting is very handy for bulk crafting things. So if you've got a bunch of iron, uh, if you've got a bunch of iron nuggets and you want to make a bunch of ingots, you can just shift click on here. And obviously you'd have to be looking at a crafting table, but uh, you can shift click all kinds of iron nuggets into the crafting table to make like a whole stack of uh, iron ingots, which is really cool. It speeds up the crafting so much. It's very nice. I'm very happy for that change in the way things work. All right, so here we are. We're halfway along the bridge. The the main island is out that way, and the outer islands are out that way, and neither of them are in view distance because they're uh, they're a long ways away. And that was that's kind of the point. I want to be this far out right now because I'm going to build something that needs lots of uh, uh, needs distance. So. Let me get situated here and we will begin. So here's an example of what I mean about the crafting improving. So we've got, I have four stacks of stone, stone blocks here. And I have to, would have to, if I want to turn these into stone bricks, drag them up one at a time into the crafting area. Here I can come here and say, show me the recipe for that. Oh, look at that. And it moved one of each. But if I do this, it moves all of them up. And then I do that and then they all bop out. Two clicks or three uh pretty cool so notice i've got beacon blocks here um we're gonna do something with them in a minute but i need to knock out some of this and this is gonna make me super uh super anxious but we're gonna do one two three four five is that right one two three four five yep and we're gonna do one two three four five okay so doing this stuff makes me super anxious as i bet you can imagine so we're going to i've taken off most of my armor i've got my elytra on i've got my firework rocket and i've got ender pearls just in case right just in case i get into a real jam so i've got a couple things to do here and the first one is i need a way down here one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take up some of these rail. And I'm going to do something that's going to just drive me completely, completely nutty, but has to be done. If I put this here, I should just pour over the edge. Oh, goodness. <sighs> and I need to build down. <laughs> Okay, now we are at, we're at Y57, there's plenty of space below me, and I know how to get back, right, so if we go looking that way, positive X, zero, zero is the end portal, so I mean the exit portal, so we this should be totally fine. My goal here is to, I need four blocks down, and then I need to build out. Okay. Here we go. I can do this. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh. There we go. Oh, goodness. See, that's why we doing this with the Elytra is so much easier. Oh, my gosh. Okay, line up. We can land. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I should go get some lava. Oh my gosh. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go that one there and swim up to the top. Ooh. And pick up my water. Oh goodness, I don't like doing that very much at all. Okay, now I should have some ladders here. 
I don't think I need the water anymore. Let's put the water in here. And I think I have some ladders. I should have some ladders. There we go. And we can do this. I want to be able to get back up. Can I do this right? Probably not. Ouch. Okay. Do that. And then try putting the ladders here. There we go. Now we can get back up without having to worry. Okay. Awesome. I don't think we need the ladders anymore. Oh, somebody joined the game. And he's wearing his diamond armor. And he's... What is Sky's the Limit? Oops. Uh, Sky's the Limit is... Oh, final Elytra. Okay, he's wearing his Elytra. So you might ask yourself, what am I doing? Or what is he doing? So I am building a Shulker farm. I've been playing around in a creative world quite a bit. And obviously, a shulker farm is not something that you can build normally in creative mode because shulkers don't, they don't respawn in the end cities, which makes them pretty rare. Once people have gone over and picked over the end cities that are nearby, uh, nearby the, the end portals, I guess that's what you, the gateways, uh, then shulkers become a little hard to find. And there are still plenty of them out there, but they're a little they're they're getting a little difficult. They're getting a little rare, especially with a bunch of people playing on the server. So uh, I saw I think it was Azuma on his uh, fan server on his Patreon server built a shulker farm, and I thought, oh, that's not a bad idea. Um, I don't think shulker. I don't think um, shulker shells are that like OP that there's not a good reason for having them in you know make relatively easy to come by. That's my opinion, and the folks playing on the server tend to agree with me. So, uh, what's my lighting level here? I want to make sure. Okay, good. That I don't give an opportunity while I'm building for Enderman to spawn because that could be. A little problematic so I've got a shulker farm design that I am building and I'll show you the process of my thought design and, and how it's how it's built so to start with I need a, a platform that's about 30 ish blocks long and I should have I should have marked something here but it doesn't matter um, I'm it has to be at least 30 not has to be but the way I'm building it is at least 30 blocks long. Um, it, you want the whole thing to be within 50 blocks of the beacons behind me and that I'm putting down there, which I haven't act turned on or activated yet. We will do that in a bit. Uh, and the reason for that is because you want the beacons are, are here for a reason. So we are going to want to make sure that they're, the whole farm is within the range of the beacons. So let me get this uh, platform laid out and then we will, I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so we're starting with a platform that is, it's, I've got, it's a little more than 30 blocks here. I wanted a few blocks of a platform here and I'll probably put some uh, stone bricks, like a railing around it, but not just yet. Uh, so it's 30 blocks long. You could get away with doing it at about 20, uh, but I'm going with a little bit longer because I want a little bit of uh, working space. So that's that. And it doesn't matter what this block is. We're going to end up covering most of it anyway. Now, I need a bunch of these. Oh, look at that. Advance me. Into fire. New recipes unlocked. Okay, let's take a look at the recipes. End rods. I need a bunch of end rods. There we go. So, now we're going to lay out the farm here. So, oh, and I also need, that's the other thing I need. Um, I need a bunch of iron gates. And I believe I have a block, of, a bunch of iron here. So let's, ooh, new recipes unlock, check your inbox, okay. So, two, 
Look at that. So iron ingots. Yep. Let's let's do that. Unlock these. Boop. And then that should unlock more. Oh, I want to make a bunch of iron fences. I know what the recipe is and why is it not showing here? Is it a different category? I can search on it, right? Can I not actually search on it? Oh, that's lame that I can't type here. Oh, there we are. Right. Iron. Huh. Right? I should be able to do this, right? Yeah. Why isn't it letting me do that? This is really weird. I wonder if that's a bug. I need a bunch of these. Give me a bunch of these. You know, I probably don't need that many, but that's fine. Okay, so down at the end here, we're going to do a couple things. Let's make some space on my bar here for these. Okay, so this is the center line. This is, as I said, the platform's 30 blocks long and it's like nine blocks wide, right? So I'm going to put in a block here. One, two, three. Bloop. That's where the spawner is going to be. Let's put a torch on there just to be safe. And then I want to put iron bars around at the sides here, including on the sides of these. Um, so as I said, I'm going to use a spawner. And of course, you can't get a spawner in, in vanilla survival Minecraft. So I'm going to have to cheat it in. That's okay. Um, but I want to do that cheating in on camera. So let me let me build up these a little bit because I'm going to want to put a uh, fence around here to block everything in. And this part's a little tedious. So let me get that built up. <laughs> okay, so I've rebuilt the uh, the platform here. This is a little embarrassing, but I built it too wide. It needs to be, as I, I think I said correctly, that it needs to be nine blocks wide and I built it 11. So this is this is kind of where we want our spawner to go. And as you know, you can't you can't craft spawners, so I have to cheat it. So here we go. Give bang splat mob sp spawner bloop. Okay. Only time. Ooh, we have a spawner. I notice there's a pig in it. We don't want to build a pig farm. We want to build a shulker farm. So the way we deal with this in uh, in in things is if I get a <coughs> if I give myself a spawn egg, a shulker spawn egg, and I right click that egg onto the spawner, it'll turn into a shulker spawner. But I don't want to do that just yet because I don't want shulker spawning all over the place. And we need to control it a little bit. I have my shulker spawner there, a spawn egg there. Um, because I'm prepared and but we're not going to use it just yet so what we're doing is we are putting in a whole mess of end rods so it's four to each side whoops get back there please and then three to the back and notice I put the bars onto the side of the platform and that is uh, for a good reason and three to the front all right uh now i need to cover this with uh, half slabs and once i get the end rods in and i do need one on top of the spawner it's going to get a little difficult so let me go grab my my half slabs and start slabbed up so the half slabs do a couple things one is their their bottom half half slabs so nothing can spawn on the roof up there and it prevents the shulkers from teleporting up there because shulkers need a full block to teleport to. This is really important. The end rods down here give the shulkers a place to spawn to, but they don't like sitting on end rods because they don't consider end rods to be a full block. So they can, so one can spawn here, but it wants to teleport somewhere. And it wants to teleport up to eight blocks away, basically. It's it's a 17 by 17 by 17 cube that they can spawn to. So effectively, it's eight blocks away. So when we come up here, we need to give them a place to spawn to. 
and that's going to be here. Boop. And I want to make this a little wide so we give the shulkers plenty of opportunity to spawn away. I think I want it to be like that. Now the bottom row they won't be able to spawn to because we're gonna you'll see because we're gonna put slabs down there but this will be five blocks times two so ten blocks that they'll be able to spawn out of this area in here up, up outside to here uh, there is a hole right there in the 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 slabs of the roof that's so I can actually look down in and actually uh, change the spawner when I'm ready to activate things but we're a ways away from that yet so this will I can actually close this off now right boop we don't need to get back inside here because I if I did all this right which I'm pretty sure I did we're good so let me close this off we can do that and do it over here let me just take one more peek just to make sure everything looks right yeah so this is good oh no no haha -ha. one one more super important thing we need to for these not to be blocks that the shulkers can teleport to all right so this this is a four block area around the spawner on that direction that direction and then in this direction and then i'm only going three to the back because if I went another row back here and a shulker spawned on top of an end rod right here, wouldn't be able to teleport to the other side of this wall. And if it couldn't, it would just sit there and stay there and they don't seem to despawn. So we need all, basically from every spot inside this cage here, we need all the shulkers to be able to teleport up to these 10 blocks here and only those 10 blocks. So everything, every design choice here is basically built around preventing the shulkers from teleporting. So let me go close this off and get started on the next bit and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we need a place for all of the drops, the shulker shells and the shulker heads to go to. And I wanna put that out here just for convenience so you don't have to approach things to be able to pick them up so I'm gonna run a hopper chain out here let me take care of that and then the hopper chain is going to be covered with slabs like this in fact most of this platform will be covered with slabs uh, because we do not want the uh, the shulkers oops ah it works uh, we don't want the shulkers to be able to spawn out here either and i think they probably could spawn to a uh, to a hopper i think i don't know i didn't test it but you know what i just i don't want to risk it because i know other things can spawn on show on hoppers so i don't want i just don't want to risk it we also have a secondary concern about not wanting endermen to spawn out here <laughs> so i'm just not taking any chances at all so let me finish this up and i'll be back all right, so now I have a collection floor here. Um, this is a bit of overkill, but that's okay. I'm, things can kind of fall between the cracks here, so I wanna make sure that I don't kind of get that screwed up. So this is the room that you're gonna be standing in to actually kill the shulkers, and then the iron bars will come alongside here. Um, so, and let's get some more iron bars and go boop boop so you're going to be standing inside a little a uh, little cage that is also going to be covered and the reason it's going to be covered is uh, so that when you get shot by the shulker shots by the shulkers and you get the levitation effect you don't go floating up into the sky and then risk coming down and and having uh, the fall damage and if you're covered if you're underneath a block then uh, it'll it'll stop you from floating up and you can just float forward 
and uh, and bash on the the shulkers. So, okay, so that goes here. Pop, 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 and then there. Pop, 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 and then pop, pop. Okay, and then we're gonna f we're gonna basically slab the entire f the entire top surface of the platform outside of the spawning chamber. Okay, so this is getting there. Okay, let me go. Uh, let me get more of this laid out, and then I'll show you what how it's gonna proceed. Okay, so I finished the uh, the little killing room here, and then I have a little pathway back here, and it and it zigzags. And the reason it zigzags, and I think I want to out this one more. The reason it zigzags is that you can come back here and the shulkers sitting on the wall there shooting at you. If they shoot down this way, they will hit the bars and it won't hit you. And if you're about here, uh, I think here or here, I think here the, uh, the spotter was active and past this point back here is not. So if you walk up here, you can let them build up on the wall and then come in and do their thing. Uh, I do think I want to bump this out one. And make this go like this. Like that. I think that's how I had it in my in my prototype. Makes this the zig a little bit thing, but it ensures that their shots can't pathfind around the bars and get to you. So and then this here provides a hmm. Yeah, th this provides a barrier keep you oh I can walk out this way which is good if I'm careful because I need to put end rods on the side out here because I don't want the shulkers to be able to teleport out here and I have to figure out how far I need to bring those and they need to be at least eight blocks from the wall here and that's probably sufficient and I'll probably go a little overboard. So one, two, they will be sitting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So up to here. I can go a few over. I'm totally cool with that. So let's, uh, so if this is eight, nine, 10, 11, let's go 12 just to be safe. Boop. And then on this side, I'll do the same thing. Can I put one of these up in the air? Yeah, I can do a marker that I can see from this side. And then this side, because I don't have any like safety rails or anything to prevent you from just deciding you're gonna walk over the side here. Yep, got it. Um, I will probably, once I get these laid in, extend the side of these gates here um, up so you can't really walk along here without really meaning to like tearing down stuff okay so these prevent the shulkers from teleporting from here to the side blocks the iron bars along the side there prevent them from teleporting or spawning on the side blocks there that just leaves one more surface where we have to worry about the the shulkers teleporting and that's the bottom. Okay, so as you might have guessed, part of why I need the uh, blocks down here is to be able to place end rods on the underside of the platform. Can I reach that there? So from here, I can just do this and cover every single block on the bottom with an end rod. Like this. How far can I reach? Oh, I'm gonna do pretty good. Okay, so let me take care of this because this is gonna be a little tedious and my pinky is getting a little bit, it's gonna get tired from sitting on the shift key, but 
don't want to fall off into the void. So I'll be right back. I don't think I have to put the end rods on the bottom of the hoppers. I have not in my testing seen the shulkers teleport to the bottom of the hoppers, but they definitely can teleport to the bottom of these solid blocks. So that's why we're putting the end rods. And this is, I think we're already past the point where we really need to be, but I'm going to, the end rods are cheap. And I'm gonna go meet up with the, uh, the, the ones I put on the side, just for, to make everything nice and even. And again, this prevents the the uh, the shulkers from teleporting underneath here uh, to to the blocks underneath. So let me clean this up, and then this uh, my little platform down here is for one other thing as well. Oh, so this is not the most efficient way to build a overlapping beacons for sure. But I got plenty of gold and uh, iron. So this will be our ladder down, which I'll probably put a trap door over. These are the three beacons right up here. All right, I don't need these. All right, so I do need that around them for the three wide. And it's a little wider. Bringing home the beacon. Oh, I just made a beacon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we will uh, build this out. So I've got got to build. Oh, I want to be able to walk around as I do this. Oops. I should have plenty of blocks here, right? It doesn't take that many. All right. Okay. So let me uh, let me finish figuring out the right size for this thing. <laughs> this is like that beacon I built on top of my base where I had to figure out how to build it from the uh, the inside out or from the bottom up, which was a little actually it's kind of exactly what I'm doing. I'm building from the bottom up, so we can just do this. And I think I have room to walk with that. Excellent. Okay. So, let me finish laying this out, and we'll talk about why I have beacons here. Woohoo, Beaconator! So, I have made a complete beacon. And VexFX has found all the parrots already. <laughs> because, of course, he was going to do that. Okay, so now I want to slab up the top of these, because I don't want any anybody deciding they want to spawn on here. And then we'll go feed the beacons. So let me take care of this and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything slabbed. And honestly, I should probably do this and slab that space too. And I'll figure out safety rails or something. There's really no reason for anyone to come down here. But I got three beacons and Let's uh, let's power them up. Oh, the beacons are working very oddly, and they didn't add to it the behavior that when you close a interface with something in the interface that it returns to your inventory rather than. Ugh. Okay. Um. Okay, we may have a bug here. I have overlapping beacons. They are all complete. I double checked. Um, I did not. I didn't miss any blocks, and they're all. I mean, it's showing. Oh look, strength, strength two. Done. Now I have strength two. Interesting. I just have to open and close them a bunch of times. Maybe I don't know. This one should still be. It's confused. I have strength two. Oh, now it's showing. Oh, okay. And now I want resistance to no. 
Now I have resistance to. And now I want speed and regen. There we go. Nice. Now, the idea here is that when I'm standing here, I want to be able to smash them with my sword as quickly as I can. And then if they hit me, um, uh, if they hit me, I, I want the extra resistance for my armor. Uh, and then the regen is just in case I do get damaged, uh, then I'll regenerate. So, okay, let me go sort all this stuff and then let's, uh, let's set this thing up. Okay, let's, uh, let's go turn this thing on. We have a hole up here. I believe everything is all right. And I should be able to take this and turn that into a shulker spawner and then cover it up. <gasps> I heard one. Okay, let's go take a look. Go down into the thing. Oh, look! There everyone is. Now, when you, when they spawn from a spawner like this, they come out white. And he just dropped something. Let's go see what he dropped. Yeah, they come out white. They don't come out the same color. I got two shulker shells. Oh, I'm so excited. We have a shulker farm. I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, why aren't... I should be getting all kinds of them. They should be spawning more. Hello! I wonder if we've got a mob cap issue with uh, XFX being on the server. Now, see this line right here? These iron bars have a funny hitbox, so standing in the corner here, I can't hit them, but they can't even see me. He dropped some more shulker shells. Okay. So this was just maybe spawning a little slowly because it's not on a... Uh, I did most of my designing on a server, on my test server, in in mostly in creative, I switching in and out of creative and, and, uh, and survival. And look at this. When they shoot... Oh, who is he shooting at? Did he just shoot himself? Silly fool. And he shoots me. Oh, they're not very good shots, are they? Hello? He's shooting at... They shoot at each other. Now they'll shoot at each other. But if I get hit by one of those things... Ah! Notice, I didn't even take damage. The resistance... Now, it'll put some wear on my armor, but the resistance prevents me from actually taking damage. Yeah. And see what the... Woohoo! And now I have new uh, recipe for shulker boxes. Nice. Interesting. Okay. This looks like it's working. Let's go see what we've got so far. Eight shulker shells. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to work on this a little bit. Since they're confined in there, I should be able to come out and work. I should be able to build out bars here to protect this area so that people don't go walk it off into the void and and make the the front of this a little bit uh, a little bit cleaner and clean up my stuff so and then this here um, I'm not even sure I'll put a trap door on there I guess so that I can uh, cover that up hello yeah, see, it works like a charm. Very cool. Uh, I, so I think that's it. Eight, ten, ten shulker shells. Very nice. Very cool. So there we go. This is my uh, shulker farm. And I think that that's what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully that was interesting. And I shouldn't, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. 
the spacing is a little bit critical. It's the only key thing. Um, you just have to understand how far these guys can teleport. Hello, you can come up here. Uh, so you just have to make sure that they can't, when they're sitting on the wall here in this space, that you can get far enough away that they can't teleport out here. And there's nothing that they can teleport to so they can stay confined in the area and when they're on the wall here they're actually outside of the spawning area oops they're outside of the spawning area so they can you can actually get like 10 of them on the wall there and still have six in the spawning area which is pretty cool so you can have a total of 16 uh, shulkers at any given time and they'll actually sit in here and, and shoot at each other. They'll sit in here and fight. It's kind of it's kind of funny watching. But there you go. And because we have the the more mob heads uh, deal, uh, they will drop shulker heads or skulls or whatever shulker heads. So that's kind of cool. Um, haven't seen that yet, but uh, but we will. I'm sure we will end up with some for sure. So there you go. That's it. Um, if if it isn't obvious how to how to build this thing from what my description here, uh, let me know. And you if you want a tutorial because I can put one together. It's pretty easy, and I think this pretty much was so it shouldn't be necessary. But I can do that, no problem. So just let me know uh, and. And that's, of course, if you want a shulker farm, and not everyone does, because it's not something you can do um, legitimately in, in vanilla survival. Um, but if you've got a server full of people, and they like shulker boxes, and they're collecting mob heads, uh, the shulkers are, they end up getting pretty rare, because they don't respawn, they don't regenerate, or they don't respawn out in, in the end cities. Which is a little frustrating. So, there you go. We got 24 shulker shells. So that's it. I'm going to work on the cleaning up the design a little bit, but that's I think what we were, what I want to show you today. Ooh, -hoo. thank you for watching. This is Theron. This has been Minecraft Land Party. I'll see you later. Bye.